here are some of the android phone hack and tricks that you actually you don't know that they exist on your phone or maybe you know but you actually know how to use them first the number one is if your phone is actually hot and it's showing that your memory card is full or the storage of your phone is actually getting full and every time you get tired of you know all this error message first what you need to do is for you to come over to this to your phone on your android phone and look for phone master this is it so i'm going to explain the function of phone master for you which is this very one this is the number one tricks and how you can get rid of your phone from not getting hot um not showing storage full you know slowing of your phone your phone always getting hit so click on this phone master and then i'm going to show you some of the things that you need to do on this on this phone master first of all we can see here storage clear we have app we have network assistant we have privacy i have different type of option clear catch so what we are going to do is to click on this very one and then allow you to load for some time here you're going to see the phone storage you're going to see app cleaner and then there's so many things here especially those app that you actually use on your phone so just a quick one we're going to click on clear so you allow it to load like this to clear all the jag this thing that we're actually doing is going to help your phone to speed very well so once it's done it's going to show here just like what it's doing here it's done clear 290 something so many people that have now here been cleaning this thing and because of that it will pile up and it will make your phone to be very hot here we have the memory which is the very one pay attention say optimize now so we're going to optimize our memory to make sure our phone works smoothly and then we we'll click optimize then it's going to boost the speed and the smoothness of our android phone machine so it will be done very soon so we move on to the second one which is the third one we have here so we will slice our phone down here for example now if you find that you have android phone the screen is so bright just like this the screen is so bright just like this very one then what you need to do is to slice down your phone like this and look for eye scare this eye care help to protect your eyes also in terms of operating your phone it will keep your eyes not to be getting hot it's going to make your make your screen to look more brighter and more beautiful so this eye care help to protect your eyes in terms of you have eye issues not to you know to get hot so, so what you do is just click on this and then you see the color change and then reduce the brightness of your phone as well so we are going to move on to the next one the next one is also slicing down your phone and then on the slicing down your phone we have the the peak proof on this very one i would explain what this peak proof is used so let me slice down my phone you see peak proof on this peak proof this one actually shows that show you how you can dim the screen of your phone in case maybe you are doing something that you don't actually want anybody to see you want a privacy on your screen you just want only you to see what you're actually doing that is when you use peak proof so you can actually slice this peak proof down like this you can slice it with your two finger you can make it very dark like this and then you will be the only person that can see it as you can see you can make it more brighter you can also put it this very way as you can see and then if you want to exist it you can actually come into this exist button which is this very one and then click click on it it's going to exist by itself so the number four you can also slice your phone down again as well and then you come over to this one that say dark team mode on this process i'm going to explain it very well for you to understand click on dark mode and then the total phone is going to change just like what you're going to see here this dark mode help have your phone to work very well just see what actually happened on my own phone here you see that it have actually closed the system ui have stopped 
you understand it's actually affecting my my phone mainly i did this thing because my phone is actually overheating right now at the time of making this video so this dark mode help to reduce the batteries consumption of your phone and also help your phone to work smoothly making some of the app on your phone to not to run in background again so because all those apps that are actually running on the background are actually consuming your batteries and also consuming your data there are a lot of things that those things are actually consuming so putting your phone on a dark mode reduce the consumption of your batteries and also the consumption of your data and it help your phone to work smoothly so now i'm going to click on this place that say close i'm going to see that so here you see that it have actually shows like this so what i'm going to do now what i'm going to do now is to to slice down again and then remove it on dark team so it have actually removed on dark team you see so the fifth one or the sixth one slice down your phone and then you see something that says don't desktop click on don't desktop this one actually help for it for sometimes like you are in a meeting you don't actually want to receive a message that will actually distract you put your phone on don't disturb it help you to concentrate on what you're actually doing and also sometimes you may be using your android phone for screen recording and you don't want any call or messages to actually distract you on that thing that you are doing so that is when don't disturb you should start using it you understand so these are i'm going to point out some of these things that you actually need so make sure you watch this video to the end continue watching this video and make sure you like this video so let's move on to the number seven the number seven is frozen app which is this very one many people have it on their android phone but they don't actually know the importance of this freezing so i'm going to explain this freezing app for you click on freezing or if you don't have you can go to play store and download this freezing the reason why you should have this freezing is that it helps to freeze some of your app that you don't you don't actually use i mean app that you know that they are really consuming some of your data there are some apps that we they are on our phone for the past two years we are not using them sometimes six months we are not using this app and this app will be in your phone to consume some of your data and also be running the background and make your phone to work very slowly so what you will do click on add and then select all the app that you actually you are not using like this very one i can click it i can come over to this very one i can touch a lot of them here like this one and then click on add then you're going to see all of them here i fix them so whenever i want to use them i can just touch here and then click on ok and then this app will actually return back on my on my screen so for now i'll fix the app so let's move on to the number eight so the number eight is also slicing down your phone slicing down your phone and then you see something like let me scroll down you see something like um like um screen recording some android phone come with the inbuilt screen recording which is this very one i'm not actually going to touch it because i'm making a screen recording with another external app recorder so actually it's not going to work on this very one which is this very you see silent screen recorder it also records silence and also video i mean audio as well and then we have screen casting for now the screen casting is you know is actually used right now because i'm making a screen recording and that is why the screen casting is actually working right now well in the process of not using the screen casting this screen casting can actually work by casting the casting your screen with your laptop or with your television that is the importance of the screen casting that you actually seen here so i'm going to move on to the number 10 which we have here we have yes just scroll down your phone and then we have the thief alarm this alarm help to protect 
in your phone as you can see tiff alarm you will be alert when charging or discharge so this alarm actually help whenever someone remove your charger it will alert you that okay someone have actually touched your phone or maybe someone remove take your phone it will actually detect that someone have already taken your phone so what you do touch turn it on and touch turn it off i've already off it right now as you can see there will demand for my pin and i'm going to enter my pin and then i think that is all so we are going to move on to the the, the next tricks which we have which is i think that is number 11 we have the focus mode many people don't know what the focus mode is all about when you need time to focus you can push distraction out and hide them notifications so this focus mode helps you not to distract you on some of the app like the whatsapp app or facebook app or youtube or any other app that you think that it may be so annoying or maybe the message you don't actually want to see it you can actually touch them by clicking them here like this and then put it on on this focus mode so with this it helps you to focus on some of the app that you actually want to get notifications and the app that you don't actually want to get notification about i mean when you are doing something on your phone you see a notification on the screen so with this it helps to protect you to focus on actual things that you you actually want to focus so this is the importance or the use of this focus mode so what you do just slice down your phone then you're gonna see focus mode guys so we have the storage here which is i think that is number 12 you have the storage here slice down your phone and then you see storage and in the process of not getting all this slicing down icon here what you do just click on this very place guys i'm i'm taking my time to make sure i make you understand this video so that within your space of time you can actually fix all these things and go through them so let me repeat it again on this as in this aspect of not seeing all this icon on your slice down dashboard what you will do you see something like triangle with one on itself i'm not talking about the settings which is this very one just touch here and then let me see just slice it down and then touch here and then you see here edit it's going to show up here so some of the icons that are naturally here you can actually drag them up here like here we have the calculator you can put it back you can just bring it and then drop it here then here the bike you can actually drop it here so you see i have dragged some of this icon uh, icon to this very place this is how you edit some of these things so let's move on to number 15 i think the number 15 we should talk about the airplay mode many people don't know about the airplay mode which i'm going to explain to you the importance of airplay mode and how you can use it to achieve some of your goals the airplay mode airplay mode sometimes help you to silence on as in to push your phone on flight that means that it's not about you being on the flight that you want to fly that's the reason why they do this no they have many reasons sometimes you don't have, you you put it on fly mode means that you are not on network at all you are not online someone will call your phone it's going to show that oh it's not reachable the network everything is actually closed down so that is the importance of this very one and sometimes you have a network issue if you put your phone on fly mode and return it back the network is going to work perfectly so that is the importance of this fly mode so guys i think this is where we're going to end this video and if you love this video do me a favor by subscribing to my youtube channel like share and also comment tell me where you are watching me from and if you have any video that you think that you talk about tell me in the comment section i'm going to do that video for you guys i really appreciate you guys for your support and for your time and for everything so take, take care and thank you